Wow, Mr. Chair, I'm, I'm very, very grateful to you uh, for taking me out of turn. I, I'll be expedient and I will uh, put in written testimony, Chair Barrett and honorable members of the committee. Thank you um, for hearing my testimony on S2090, an act incorporating embodied carbon into state climate policy and S2093, an act expanding access to fossil fuel free demonstration project. Um, I also have a home rule before you, Mr. Chair, um, from the city of Northampton. I, I believe you've heard from some municipal officials on Northampton wanting a fossil fuel demonstration project. So first on the embodied carbon bill, um, this is in partnership with representatives uh, Michelle Sicolo and Steve Owens, as you know, um, and, and also, as you know, Chair Barrett, carbon emissions are associated with the construction and maintenance of buildings. You know that, you know, better than most. Um, embodied carbon has often been called the forgotten factor when we think of green buildings. Others have termed it a blind spot or a hidden climate challenge. So we, although we say that the carbon is embodied because it's part of the building materials that go into the building, that term is actually misleading because the carbon is not yet contained or embodied in buildings. It's emitted into the atmosphere and it continues to contribute to global warming. In total, experts estimate about 23% of uh, global annual emissions comes from embodied carbon. And so I would suggest that if we're serious about meeting the urgency of the climate crisis, and I know you are, um, this is part of the solution. So it's a very pragmatic bill, which I know you enjoy. Um, pretty straightforward. It establishes a broad representative advisory board. It directs DOER to conduct an assessment of our current state of knowledge on embodied carbon. And this is because we heard from experts that there is uneven understanding. And so we should we should really get a level playing field here. And then it actually requires that embodied carbon be incorporated into future iterations of the stretch code. And on that topic of the net zero stretch code, you know, I'm very grateful to you, Senator, for passing the net zero um, stretch building code into law. I, I was proud that that was my first term and carrying that bill and it, I'm delighted to see it become law. I think about this embodied carbon and, and net zero building as sisters. Um, and so thanks to the committee, when buildings are using the stretch energy code and when they operate, they will operate with net zero emissions. Work to advance embodied carbon says that we must tackle emissions in the construction of the building. So further upstream, and these are emissions coming from the manufacturing facilities, construction site and transportation. Um, and that is right now not in our sites. And I think uh, and I believe that the committee thinks that's at our peril if we don't really understand the totality. Um, so you're going to hear a lot and already and you'll hear more. And these there are multiple perspectives here, architects, scientists, environmental experts. I want to just really shout out the Massachusetts chapter of the American Institute of Architects. Um, who really have thrown down uh, to really make this again a very pragmatic blueprint. And of course, MCAN has been leading the way as they do on so many other things. Um, and I'm sorry, Mr. Chair, I have dogs in the back, but I'll be super quick. Um, the next I wanted to talk about is this um, fossil free fuel pilot. Uh, you know this, the drive law that you worked so hard on allows for 10 communities uh, to mandate that all new construction and and significant renovations in those communities will be built using solely electric power um, without the use of highly polluting fossil fuels. Um, and so, uh, as you also know, there was great demand um, for these, um, these pilot slots. And that's the Northampton Home Rule asking for its own opportunity um, to do that. So this bill expands the fossil free fuel program to any community that would like to join and it eliminates the requirement that they submit a home rule petition as Northampton um, has done. I want to really shout out the zero carbon Massachusetts folks um, for working uh, across the state on really strong testimony. And thank you, Mr. Chair, for your kind consideration um, and putting up with my dogs uh, to boot. So thank you, sir. Well, thank you uh, very much. I, I, as usual, you're, you're on the cutting edge, Senator Comerford. I think your bill introduces this, this focus on embodied carbon more than any other uh, piece of legislation I've seen here in Massachusetts. So 
I owe you. And I remember your contributions during your freshman year through uh, expanding solar and to dealing with the so-called single parcel rule. So you've done yeoman's work. Well, only with your help, Mr. Chair. Um, and, uh, you know, I really am very grateful to get to, to be in this conversation with, of course, uh, Leader Cream and you around embodied carbon. I, I, the more I learn about it and, and meet with the experts, I'm so moved by what it could bring us as a commonwealth to tackle building the building emissions sector. Well, thank you so much. Uh, and say hi to your dog for me. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Chair. And thank you for taking me out of turn. Uh, farmers in my region were crushed by flooding. And it just brings the, the kind of acute human crisis of climate change right to us. So the timing of your hearing is uh, also moving to me. Um, yeah. the, the urgency that you're t dealing with is is apt, I think, given what we're facing. So thank you, sir. You know, we're seeing a lot of news about Vermont and some news about New Hampshire. It's it's sobering to realize that it's hit people in Massachusetts as well. Oh, so terribly. We'll hear that news now. It, much of our land is underwater, so farmers can't even get to it. Uh, but the Healy Driscoll administration was out in the fields today with numbers of representatives and myself and um, I, I, I fear the totals are going to be devastating. Wow. Thank you. Thank, have you. thank you so much.